So a couple weeks ago, I was in the customer service line. Now, for full disclosure, I was on the other side of town by the seminary, so I could get away with the story, right? So there, you, there I am in the customer service line, and three people ahead of me, there was this guy. You all know that guy, yes? I mean, he is busting the chops of the, the person on the other side of the counter there. You know that guy, don't you? Right? And so I'm sitting there, I'm just, and again, I'm trying to be as anonymous as possible. I'm staring at the crowd, and I'm just like, I'm looking. I'm, oh my god, this is going on forever. And this guy was busting her chops, yes or yes? Yeah. Exhausting, yes? And so thank god he's gone, amen, right? So the next person comes up, and you know what we got? We got the exact same thing. I'm, like, I'm actually starting to feel sorry for, the, for, the, for the, the clerk on the other side, right? And so then there's the third one, and honest to God, no exaggeration, this is about 25 minutes later, and I'm like literally returning a box of screws, really, right? <laughs> so anyhow, long story short, this guy goes through, and by the time I got to the counter, right, you could just tell the clerk she was just exasperated, yes? So this is what I said, and I could get away with this on the other side of town, right? So before she could say anything, you know, she's in customer service, right? I said, and what can I do for you? <laughs> right? Nice, right? She was dumbfounded. She didn't know what to say. And so chatting up with her, she says, you have no idea what I've been through. No, trust me, I was in the back of the line here. <laughs> and if you really want full disclosure, I can tell you what I do for a living. I have a really good idea. But what was stunning about this experience, like I said, and what can I do for you? And you could just, you could just tell there was like a pregnant pause. She's like, I don't know what to say. And honestly, you're on the other side of the counter here. You got nothing to help me with, right? And the power of the story of Bartimaeus, right? The power of the story is Jesus calls out to him and he says, what do you want me to do for you? And he knew the answer. How can I help you? He knew the answer. And every single day, and you hear us, how many times, even at the start of Mass, let's place ourselves to the Lord, let's open. How do we need God to help us? God is saying to each of us today, how can I help you? What can I do for you? And sometimes, like, well, maybe you're on the wrong side of the counter, you're like, God, you got nothing. I mean, I'm on the wrong side of this thing, right? But no, God wants to help us. God wants to care for us. We are just like, actually just like Bartimaeus. We are wise enough to know that we need God. That's why we're here tonight, amen? amen. But Bartimaeus, he knew exactly what he needed to ask God for. As you go through this week, take some time honestly deep in your heart to prayerfully discern what it is that you need of God. Take this passage home. He is saying the same thing to us. And what is that you'll have me do for you? How can I help you? And really bring that to your prayer. Because the stunning thing about Bartimaeus, he knew the answer. He knew exactly what he needed from the Lord. And let's be honest, every single one of us here need God. That's why we're here. And we need God to enter into our hearts, our lives, our homes, our families in a very particular way. And in a prayerful way, how can we bring that then to God? Read that scripture. Insert your name instead of Bartimaeus. He's going to say it to us, just like he's going to say to you in a moment, Tyler. Tyler, what will you have me do for you as you come forward to be confirmed? And the Lord is going to ask that same question of us as you come to communion. Lord, this is how I need you to enter into your life. And make that your prayer, your thoughtful reflection this week. And then very practically, if you find yourself in line like a customer service line, just for giggles, you speak first before they say anything. What can I do for you? And just watch the reaction, amen?